So how is it that you transitioned or did you always start with individual stocks and why individual stocks versus say a broad market ETF? Yeah, yeah so I, I started with individual stocks right from the jump. And I mean, I think to understand me, you gotta go all the way back to my childhood, which I grew up in a family of, of where gambling was very prevalent. Where gambling was very prevalent. Where gambling was very prevalent. Ooh, baby. Welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. Did you guys know that Jeremy was a gambler? <laughs> what a shock, bro. Anyway, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to do a reaction to Jeremy and Andre Jeek talking about the toxicity of the YouTube finance space. Because we all know that people like me and Echoes and Fabio and all those, guys, all those clowns, we're all just haters. And we're all toxic. And things that we say about Jeremy and Andre, they have no basis in fact or merit. We're just haters, bro. <laughs> so apparently all the foo-foo and this chick who I don't know and Andre Deke are sitting in the sauna. It's like a new thing called Don't Sweat It. And what they do is they bring in all these, you know, big finance YouTubers and they talk about, I don't know, stonks or how to lose all your money. And in this particular video, I, I noted something very interesting that, uh... Andre and Jeremy said to each other. So we're going to watch this and I'm going to give you my feedback and I'm going to explain to you clowns I'm talking to you, Jeremy, and I'm talking to you, Andre, why this niche is so toxic. And I'm proud to say I was one of the first ones to start this toxicity because someone had to stand up and talk about the degeneracy and the theft that you clowns are engaged in. So let's watch and things like that but you know obviously the, the finance niche is is a certain kind of niche that can be certainly very toxic especially if you're in the stock market space so <laughs> i would just caution people you know even if you're whatever you're talking about you, you could tell people hey go buy an index fund and there's going to be people obviously saying you know that's dumb and that's stupid and it's very toxic space so just do understand if you're going on social which media which is the craziest <laughs> so first of all there are people out there that will criticize other people who say buy index funds. I encourage people to max their tax advantage accounts and buy broadly diversified index funds. Who doesn't like that? Oh, Jeremy. Jeremy's actually said that index funds are the devil. <laughs> Let me tell you why people don't like index funds. It's very simple. Index funds in the long run will outperform the vast majority of fund managers because fund managers incur more taxes through active trading or even filtering out their portfolio and they charge high fees because why would you do all that work researching stocks without charging a fee an index fund has a very low fee and it has very low turnover which reduces the amount of capital gains that are passed down to you people like jeremy don't like index funds because their whole source of income is not making money off of stocks. Don't ever think that. Jeremy makes his money from convincing people that they can outperform the market and get rich quickly. And if you don't believe me, go call his organization and ask them what returns you can expect if you sign up for their course. And I've heard from multiple sources, you can get up to, or expect at least, 30% returns, which is just, un it's insane, okay? Especially considering all the crap that Jeremy buys. The guy obviously knows nothing. Let's keep watching. It's concept to me because before I started YouTube, when I thought about investing, I was like, that's the least controversial space you yeah. could be in. I, I, I just wasn't, I didn't think anything of it. I just said, well, of course people invest. How, yeah. how could it be controversial? But you're right, the, the longer I've done this, the more I've realized how subjective investing actually is and how yep. everyone has their favorite method of investing and if somebody doesn't agree with them they must be uh, a scammer or something's wrong and yeah. it's 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 an interesting uh, industry for sure what it is is i think people get very very how do you say it um passionate, passionate yeah about their reasoning right and so if you're telling the people to go buy stocks or index funds or whatever it is right and there's somebody that's like no we're going down a ton more they're gonna be like what are you telling people like that's an, you know an idiotic move if you're on the other side they're like no look at the last hundred years and how the market so no matter what you're gonna have a certain a segment that's definitely going to not agree with you right and it's just it's that well, passion that kind of comes well, out there. Just okay so andre is like oh i i didn't think that investing was controversial because he doesn't understand how the whole industry works. 
I understand it very, uh, very clearly. I used to be a financial advisor, okay? The amount of scammery and disgustingness that is in this industry is out of control. There is 100% objective evidence that index funds will outperform active managers and they will definitely outperform people like Jeremy Lafufu, who on top of picking garbage individual stocks that are the future, he also charges you to get access to his Discord and his little training videos, and he charges thousands of dollars. So on top of underperforming, you're also giving Jeremy thousands of dollars. And on top of that, he makes insanely simple mistakes in his material. He doesn't know, and I really believe this, maybe he knows now if he watches my videos, how to calculate something as simple as a price to earnings ratio. Seriously, Jeremy, I watched some of his videos and I've done reviews on them. They're garbage. They're absolute garbage. And his tax advice was just wholly wrong. So Andre, you have to understand, okay, maybe you're just, I don't know, special. People get passionate, especially index funds investors, because they see the scam that is the whole finance industry. It is a massive scam. The news media, active management, financial advisors, and particularly YouTubers are scumbags that are not there to help you. They will make you underperform in the long run, and they will take massive sums of money from you, enriching themselves at your expense. Do you see why I'm passionate about this, Andre? It's not as simple as, oh, investing, just people invest in different things. There is objective evidence, objective, incontrovertible, that index funds outperform fund managers, clowns like Jeremy, and the average retail clown who just buys stongs because they go up and sells them when they go down. It's as simple as that, Andre. Do you understand? Just always had this perspective where if if we look at money and investing objectively, as objectively as possible, mm -hmm. we would say, what is the best way to make money? And I think you can make a really strong argument that the most objectively best way to make the most amount of money possible is to be over leveraged in real estate. Mm. That real estate as an asset class has been the number one wealth generator for the average person. Yeah. So if we were to look at it like that, then you could say anyone who's advising anyone to do anything otherwise is a scammer because they're not telling people to do real estate. Yeah. But then the longer you do this, the more you realize it really depends on your ultimate goal and yeah. your personality and what you're good at when yeah. you like doing. And yeah. that's when they call investing personal finance, which is it's personal to you and your goal, which when I was younger, didn't make any sense. Yeah. It's like, how could it be subjective? There has to be one best way to make money. Where do I put it? Yeah. And I was so confused every time I heard, it depends. I'm like, what do you mean it depends? <laughs> there actually is one best way, at least to make money in the stock market. That's why I dump on Jeremy Financial Education. He's there to take your money, not to make money from the stock market. He's lost millions of dollars buying garbage freaking companies. It's that simple, Andre. There's nothing more complicated. And to your thing of leveraging real estate, yeah, you should freaking do that. <laughs> Imagine people that did that in 2006, 2007. You got absolutely wrecked. <clears throat> For the average person who sucks at picking stocks, and that's fine because stocks are all about the future and things can change rapidly. The best way to reach your retirement goals, if you choose to invest, is to buy an index fund in a tax advantage account, dollar cost average, and don't look at it. And you will outperform 95% plus of all these freaking clowns, okay? To do anything otherwise, oh, crypto, oh, this, oh, that, you're going to over underperform. I have the evidence. It's publicly available on the internet. You can type in index funds versus active management, and you can clearly see the difference. This is not complicated. Anybody that tries to inject themselves in there and attack index funds and give you an alternative has a motive. They have a motive to screw you over by taking your money. Even the real estate courses on, on uh, YouTube, oh, just buy real estate, bro. They're charging you for the courses and you're going in there and buying rental properties not knowing what you're freaking doing. And <laughs> you're probably gonna lose their money. And the guy or the gal 
the scammer that's charging you the money is probably giving you a false promise. Jeremy, 30% returns. Real estate, oh, it just goes up, bro, and you just have all this cash flow. There is a motive, okay? This industry is disgusting. Now, somebody that continuously talks about index funds is actually not as, or doesn't have as many bad motivations. Now, of course, I want to make money off YouTube, okay? And if I wanted to make a lot of money off YouTube, because trust me, I'm smart enough to do it. Oh, I'm a CPA, you can trust me. I would talk about the same clownish stocks that they did. I would say Tesla's going to the moon. I would say Palantir's the future, bro. I would say Tattoo Chef's going to 10X. I know how to do it. But I have personally shot myself in the foot by crapping on all the garbage that everybody else likes. Because I know what works. I know the truth. And oh, personal finance is personal. Yeah, if you're a freaking clown, I guess it's personal. Go ahead. Buy crypto. Buy worthless garbage. Go listen to Jeremy and buy his clown stocks. Go pay him thousands of dollars to lose all your freaking money. Yeah, yeah, it's, everybody's different, right? Everybody has goals in their life. Everybody wants to achieve a goal. And everybody's situation is different. But there are better ways to achieve goals. If you want to get to retirement, the best way is to dollar cost average into index funds and tax advantage accounts. If you have a short-term goal, maybe you should park that in cash or a CD or something, okay? There are good ways to get to something that have provably worked and will continue to work in the future. And there are absolutely stupid, terrible ways like stuff that Jeremy teaches. Do you understand, Andre? It's that simple. <laughs> There's only one good way, right? Yeah. And I feel like the, the more you invest in this industry, the more you realize there really is so many ways, whether it's crypto, whether it's real estate or YouTube or whatever it is, there are an infinite ways to make money. Yeah. And but what is the probability that you're going to make money? What is the probability that you're going to buy a cryptocurrency and you're going to reach your goal? Probably close to zero because the vast majority of you clowns buy crypto at the top or get sucked into pump and dumps. Okay, Real estate, very concentrated, very difficult, very risky. But if you minimize your expenses, raise your income, and focus on maxing your tax advantage accounts and buying broadly diversified index funds, you will most likely reach your financial goals. The other ways involve way more risk and it's all in the evidence. Everybody, if you just freaking Google it, you will see how crappy the individual investor is and how much freaking money they lose and how much they underperform the market. So they're gonna pump your head with this BS. Oh, it's personal, you could do this and that and that. But the probability is insanely low and you're just going to enrich them along the way. Simple as that. And you could take the high horse and say, well, this is historically objectively the best way, but the reality is there is no best. Yep. It just depends on what you like doing. A hundred. That's wrong. <laughs> so full of crap and he that's how he just that's how andre justified oh uh, objectively you know, all the evidence points to this one way but oh uh, that, that doesn't matter just buy crypto bro yeah I mean, how much money has this clown lost on nfts and crypto and he's gotten bailed out by his ad revenue how much have you lost andre clown <laughs> why would you match your tax manager accounts by probably diversified index fund no there's other ways i mean there's like a one percent chance you can make money off crypto yeah see see even though there's probably a hundred percent chance that you can make money and retire comfortably based on index funds he's such a clown okay i don't like this guy okay the more that i watch him andre and we all know how i feel about lafufu the more i watch andre He's just there to make money off YouTube. He doesn't matter. It doesn't care. He doesn't care what he says. <laughs> he knows he's lost tons of money. Well, through real estate, we know that freaking clown. Through crypto, through NFTs, every stupid thing that he has said has resulted in you losing money. But it's, uh, it's individual, right? Loser. Percent. Yeah, you're 100 percent right on that. And uh, I mean, I was I was talking to a gentleman, I think it was at Dylan's birthday party, and and he was saying how he's a, you know, a house flipper and he's made a killing obviously yeah. the last few years. But now he's talking about, oh, man, you know, <laughs> I'm kind of pooping my pants there, man. I don't know sure. what's going on with the market. He's kind of scared. He's maybe a little over leveraged, he was saying and things like that. And um, it's like, well, he did really good for a while there. But then all of a sudden, you're gonna have a year or two that could, you know, be obviously really down. It doesn't mean your strategy is bad. Or well, if you're flipping houses and you took out a loan to buy a property and now you can't sell it, oh, you could lose all your money. You could go bankrupt. If you have dollar cost average into an index fund and a tax advantage account and you don't use any leverage, which would you be a clown if you did? The worst that you can go to is zero, okay? 
There are things that involve massive risk that these guys don't seem to appreciate. And what they do is they take your money. There is no argument. So I'm done with this video. There's, there's tons of tidbits maybe I'll react to later. But these guys are clowns, okay? These guys are YouTubers. These guys are entertainers. They're there to entertain you. But what happens is when you entertain somebody, you got to talk about the hot topics. And when you talk about something that's hot, you're probably already buying to something that everybody's already else bought into, and you're probably going to lose all your freaking money. So keep crapping on VT, keep crapping on index funds, keep saying there's multiple ways that you can reach your retirement goals. Oh, index funds, same thing as gambling on crypto and NFTs, bro. Yeah, yeah it's the same freaking thing, losers. And I'm out. Cheers!